Okay, here we see the uh, the signal from the first rubidium source at about 8.4 megahertz, 120 nanosecond period. I'm going to fire up the second one and get the probe on it. And you can see it's warming up. <laughs> Not synchronized yet. Oops. If I understand correctly, it's scanning the frequency band and uh, searching for the, uh, the null in the rubidium response. Still going? Oh, <laughs> it's getting close. It actually does this pretty quickly if it's uh, warmed up first. But it was pretty cool when I started. <laughs> oh, this might be it. Just think, that's eight million cycles per second. If it was slipping one cycle per second, we'd be within about a tenth of a ppm. I'd say it's still searching because I've seen it locked before and it's really solid. Now, they just happen to be in phase there, of course. There's no reason they should be. It'll probably drift out a bit more. This is sort of like watching paint dry. But look at that, it's virtually locked. That might take a minute or two or five to slip a cycle. That's just, you know, better than a part per billion with respect to each other. Much better. <laughs>